found in the back of a Hawkins County EMS truck is a key piece of evidence in an ongoing investigation. Paramedics say in addition to the knife, the narcotics cabinet had been tampered with while out on a medical call early this morning. Jordan Moore spoke with the EMS director who was out on that call and revealed what happened before they dialed 911. Jordan? Well, Sarah, EMS Director Wayne Elam says they were almost finished with her 24-hour shift when the attempted burglary took place. But it wouldn't be until a few hours later that they noticed something wasn't quite right in the back of the truck. For those who work in the emergency medical field, every time a medical call comes in... Go inside the residence and check the patient and uh, see what equipment will be needed. But when Hawkins County EMS Director Wayne Elam and his partner were out on one of those calls just last night... We heard the door on our ambulance open or closing. It sounded like possibly more than one door, so we went out to check. And after checking the truck, they didn't find anything out of the ordinary, so it was back to business as usual. That is, until the very next call. We found a knife laying in the seat in the back of our unit and found that the... Uh, latched or we keep our medications have been prized. The Hawkins County Sheriff's Department was immediately called out to the scene. Chief Deputy Tony Allen tells us it's now an open investigation working to find who's responsible for trying to break in. We work for a sheriff that who has took a war on drugs and he will not stand for this. This is one more battle that we have to face. Elam says the narcotics they carry on the truck can be life-saving. You know, put people to sleep to innovate on the secure airways. But if those medications were to get in the wrong hands... Could have really killed somebody if they got hold of the wrong stuff. Now Elam says he plans to talk to his staff about staying safe out in the field. And as for what's inside the truck, he says they already double lock every narcotics cabinet. But in reality, he says what's locked away... There's not enough medicine there for them for it to be worth their time. Jordan Moore, News Channel 11, in your corner. If you have any information about the attempted burglary, the Hawkins County Sheriff's Office is asking you to call the number. Uh, we'll have that there on our website in a little bit.